it's time for another road trip. This time we're heading to a friend's wedding in Vegas. We're leaving Vancouver. We're gonna take a huge detour through Utah, Zion and Bryce and Arches. This morning we've already packed up the car, crossed the border and gotten our US SIM cards. Now we're off to pick up some groceries and then we're gonna go meet our friend who lives in Seattle. He's the one who's getting married in Vegas, uh, but he lives in Seattle. So we're gonna stop in and see him before we see him again in another month at his wedding. Our first couple of days of travel through the States, uh, we always end up getting lots of food at different places because we can't bring food across the border, or at least we can't bring a lot of fresh food across the border, like fruits and vegetables and eggs and stuff like that. You're not allowed to transport. So we stop at grocery stores as soon as we get into the States. And we like to go to places that we don't normally get back home, like Trader Joe's, like the Mexican grocery store. Now we're off to figure out where we're gonna spend the night. Uh, we're gonna try and drive maybe about another hour or so and uh, look for a free camp spot if we can find one. If not, it looks like there are some state campgrounds available too. What do you guys think of our free camp spot? It's not super busy, it's beautiful weather, we're right on the water, and it's Saturday night. I guess you can't camp here year round though. In the spring the water levels get so high that this whole area gets flooded and obviously you can't camp on it. But right now in the fall, perfect time to be here. Everywhere you look there's something to see. Behind me there's the water and then the mountains in the distance. Right over here there's mountains right there. And I love a mountain with a rock face showing. It is so stunning. It's still a little bit early but we are so tired. We've been up since 6 a.m. running around, packing up the car, running errands, doing all kinds of things. And so now that we found this amazing spot, we're just gonna chill out here for the rest of the night, probably go to bed really early, and wake up tomorrow morning and see what else we can find on the road. We've been driving for a couple of hours and I am getting hungry. We just pulled in to get some gas and now I'm gonna try these overnight oats that we picked up yesterday from Trader Joe's. they're quite good. Pretty much what you would expect. I really like it. This is one of my favorite grocery stores in the United States. We got two peppers, 99 cents each. We got diced tomatoes with chilies, low-fat black bean, uh, refried beans, and uh, flour and corn tortillas and these things. Oh my god. I just want to eat them right now. They're like soft and mm, So good Chris and I checked out the state park about 10 minutes down the road from here and they wanted $33 American for a camp spot and we thought oh that is way too much money. That's over $45 Canadian so we drove another 10 minutes or so and we found this spot on BLM land. It's a free campground. You can stay here up to 14 days. It's right on the Snake River. And if you can recall, uh, I really wanted to see the Snake River. And so now this is my first view of it. And then tomorrow we're going to continue on to Twin Falls. I should probably be paying a little more attention. I'm walking towards the Snake River, you know, just on this brush here, but there's probably some snakes in here that I should be careful of, especially the rattlesnakes. Tonight we're going to try this barbecue and black pepper salad. Uh, it's got a barbecue sweet onion dressing and we're going to put a little bit of barbecue chicken on it and uh, probably some shredded cheese. We like these bowls we got because they're nice and big and you can have a nice big salad in them. All right, so I'm not sure what this salad comes with. There's obviously this dressing. I think this might actually be cheese, so we may not need to shred our own cheese. And some sort of little mini crouton thing. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of these like croutons. Yep, that's what they are. We've moved inside because of the bugs and now we're going to try this out.
That's tasty. Tastes like a barbecue chicken salad. Really good. So that's the first two days of our road trip, finding free camping and food along the way. We hope you like this video and we'll see you in the next one.